If you are heading out this afternoon, it is breezy and still somewhat cold because we are looking at clouds. Lots of clouds still across most of the area, but these are starting to clear out in the next couple of hours, so you'll be left with a mostly sunny at least later afternoon. But temperatures still cool behind our storm system. We're 58 in Macomb, 58 in Mandeville, staying, still hanging on to 64 in New Orleans. Same thing in Bell Chase, Galliano, Homa, and Morgan City all checking in, in the mid 60s, but notice where the sun's out in Baton Rouge is up to 67, so we will see temperatures climb a couple degrees once we get the sun in here. Very, very windy. Shocking to see numbers maybe this high with really nothing happening. It's all thanks to our storm system that's to our north, but gusting to 43 right now at the lakefront, 35 in Kenner, 33 Gulfport, 25 in Hammond, 28 Gonzales. So if you are doing anything outside today, French Quarter Fest, it will be breezy. If you're doing any cleanup today, please be extra careful especially if you if you do need to get on something elevated if you're on a ladder there will be occasionally some very strong wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour so the clouds are going to break down the next couple of hours we'll see sunshine throughout the rest of the day with temperatures climbing into the low 70s they've got dry out dry air out there it will be a really nice one and then tonight it turns chilly we'll drop into the upper 50s here on the south shore the north shore tomorrow morning i have you in the upper 40s so this is that dry air that's coming in it'll certainly still feel more like early spring as we wake up on your Friday morning. Now here's what the rest of the week and weekend looks like. Dry weather looking good. We may see a storm system approaches towards the middle and end of next week, but right now I don't have any big storm chances. That's great news. Of course, we need some time to dry things out and people need to recover, get those roofs repaired before our next rainmaker. Now right now the Slidell tornado, the only one we have confirmed is the one that moved through the old Spanish trail area and then uh, the same cell also produced damage near Stennis and off into Mississippi just north of the kill and going into parts of Harrison County there in Mississippi. Now one thing we don't know right now for sure is if this was one continuous tornado or if it was up and down. That's probably more likely but we're still waiting on the National Weather Service to say if it was for sure just an EF1. That's what we have right now and what exactly those wind, wind speeds were and how long. Uh, the path was of this tornado. They are also doing surveys elsewhere to determine were there any others. There was some damage reported northern slide Ellen up into the community of Pearl River, so we'll wait and see what they see from that. We'll probably know here in the next couple of hours. They're out there right now doing the survey, so they'll let us know when we'll let you know when they give us the information. A lot of reports of damage across the state yesterday. Multiple tornadoes reported. Right now it stands at about three, but don't be surprised if that number goes up. A lot of wind damage reports as well, and of course a lot of rain. Yesterday's rain was so widespread and heavy in many places, and that's why it seems so um, well worse than what we typically see with flooding. I mean, all across the metro, it was anywhere from like four to nine inches of rain. Across the lake, it was anywhere from three to about seven inches of rain. The river parishes, some places saw up to nine inches of rain near Laplace, and then notice your totals a lot more manageable down here in the Bayou parishes and far north shore like Bogalusa, Amy, and up to the North Toma Comb saw less than two inches of rain. So we got a Great stretch of weather to dry all this out, help things with recovery. Beautiful weekend here with warmer temperatures, 81 on Saturday and Sunday, but dry weather and then next week we really warm up. Rain forecast, pressure rising rapidly, do some fishing. It is very choppy though, gale warnings in effect for the Gulf. Small craft advisories for the lakes. The winds will begin to settle tomorrow and Saturday though, so a lot better for the weekend. High tides are going to happen this afternoon. They're happening right now near the coast, but low tides are going to happen later on tonight near midnight.